how's it going YouTube tech here and iOS 18.4 beta 1 is out now and this brings lots of new features and changes that we are going to take a look at in this video these are going to be the major ones the biggest changes that you are going to notice right off when you install this iOS 18.4 well this update is pretty massive it's 7.5 gigs as usual but it does bring a lot of changes and new things so I think I would like to start with the build number for this iOS world. So this is the build number for this iOS 18.4 beta 1. So this is running on my good old iPhone 15 Pro. And well, as always, I would like to start with the biggest thing first, that is Apple Intelligence. So if you go to settings and then go to notifications here, you can finally turn on priority notifications. So these are some Apple Intelligence that can show you what notification that may be important in a separate section. So as you can see, in this animation is playing right here on this new UI. So this page over here is going to show you what notifications are different from the prioritized one. So that will have a prioritized branded on them. So you know that this notification is prioritized and it's going to show it on the lock screen and you can like catch up what you missed on. So you have to turn it on because after updating to iOS 18.4 beta, I had to turn it on manually. So I think it's not on by default. Well, for now, I don't really have any notification to show you how it looks like. And the second one is a small little addition to the image playground. So if you go to the playground application and if you want whatever kind of style or whatever kind of thing you want to generate, if you go to plus, here's a new style to choose from now and that is a sketch style. So this has been a little addition in the image playground. The level intelligence also get few more languages that are French, German, Italian, Portuguese in Brazil, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, Chinese and even English for Singapore and India. So these are the new language addition for the Apple intelligence. And well if you go to any kind of text maybe on WhatsApp or iMessage and if you go to the emoji keyboard you can see that the Genmoji button is now even bigger. Before previously we just had this small smile emoji color one where you could simply tap and use Genmoji to create any emoji but now it even more clearly specifies that this is the Genmoji button and you can click it and basically start creating any Genmoji so this has been a different addition for the Genmoji button in any emoji keyboard or in any WhatsApp or iMessage app where you can simply type your stuff also there's a small change in type to Siri so to use this you have to activate type to Siri basically using the side button if you have that activated or set up or basically simply tap the bar over here at the bottom middle so it's going to show you some kind of suggestions that you can use it with and also if you use any kind of like i'm gonna use this so what kind of phrase you have and if you use that phrase or anything as a command the keyboard is gonna go down and if you need to bring this keyboard back up you'll have to click over ask siri again so it really does not matter in which app you are in whichever app you are you can simply just double tap and get any kind of suggestion of what you can do in that app using type to siri like this is in the apple tv it doesn't exactly seem to be working on every single application even the apple zone but it does work in lots of them as you can see it's in the podcast too well there's one feature in the control center so basically if you go to control center and then tap plus all right Add controls, slide down and then you will see is the ambient music. So here are four types of ambient music. You can choose from sleep, chill, productivity to any kind of well-being. So if you have this already, you can simply go and click and they will play that kind of sound. But you can actually change this into any custom playlist from your Apple Music library or simply get them to play for what they're meant for. So if you go in edit mode in the control center, while having these toggles already placed on them, you can simply click on them and choose from library what kind of music that it defines. You can literally set any playlist from the library. So it's like a quick access and I don't exactly know who needs this feature, but I think it's a pretty nice way of directly accessing what playlist you want to play as soon as possible so it's a nice control over here so i think i don't have anything here so as you can see you can simply choose what kind of sound it wants to be like 
from the sleep sound, bedtime sound for bath or piano sleep. So you can have that kind of, but you can always set up any kind of playlist as a custom to access it right from the control center. I think that's pretty convenient. All right, so you must be familiar with these dots in the dynamic island or beside the notch, I think, if I'm right. So this is a yellow dot and there's a green dot, you know how it appears. But normally it used to be in the dynamic island for the phones, iPhones with dynamic island, as you can see. But while on a call, this dot will move outside of the dynamic island. I don't know why if it's a bug or it's a feature, but it does look like it's a feature because it's quite well made for a bug itself. But I don't understand the logic of this because Dynamic Island was a pretty good place for it to be. I mean, it wasn't taking any space and it was utilizing the space inside the Dynamic Island, but I'm not really sure why it has to move outside, maybe to make things clear about what is being happening on the phone. Well, that's a privacy stuff, that's iPhone. That might be the most logical explanation for that, I guess. Well, as for the News Plus in the News app, you can actually find a new section for the food recipes. It's like a food section in the News app, but it's only available to those who are subscribed to Apple News Plus. So I don't really have it, so I can't show you that section like really clearly how it looks like and what it does. But it basically is a food section where you can find easily specified recipes that are easy to follow or easy to cook, something like that. So that's a little addition in the Apple News Plus. And if you have back tab enabled, there's a new thing that you're going to notice right away. So when you back tab your phone and you will see that it's going to now show that back tab for anything you have set up is going to show it's used, it's detected. So it's like a notification. I don't know if it's needed, but I think it definitely prevents and shows that when the double tap or the back tap was whenever enabled or detected. As far as bug fixes go, it does feel a little faster, but it stutters at some places whenever it heats or maybe overheats. But there's this bug, I've seen this since iOS 18.2 maybe, or maybe one, which is the wallpaper saturation. It saturates the wallpaper as you can easily see in here. It's still there, it's not fixed. It's annoying, I know, but it's not fixed yet. And as far as I have seen the Geekbench scores, the Geekbench scores have been dropping for my 15 Pro. As you can see, this is the CPU history. This one is on iOS 18.2. This one is on 18.3.1 that came out a few days ago. And this is 18.4. So the performance for or basically the scores have been gradually dropping for my phone. I wonder what could be that exact reason. And well, that's pretty much it for the iOS 18.4 beta and it does bring few changes, new features, but I'm not really sure if an average user is going to make use of them or even going to find any difference because I'm not really sure. I've seen people don't even notice a 120Hz promotion display on a pro iPhone. Well, never mind, it does not matter to me because I can. But this does have some features which are quite convenient if you use them like that. And some features that obviously gonna go unnoticed easily. But still, this is all about it. The major one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Until then, peace out.